got it. Oh, hey there, guys. Uh, I didn't know you're here. Uh, I'm sorry, I was trying to get the wrapper off of my water bottle because, you know, it's, it's better to not have confusion of whose water bottle am I drinking from? So, sorry about that. Uh, but hello. How are you? Amy Lynn, thank you for joining us. Hydrate, that's the plan. I have not had enough water today, so my goal is to, by the end of the stream, have drank the entire thing. Um, for those that are watching on Twitch, this does not, unfortunately, uh, does not have the channel. The channel does not have uh, any kind of bits or subscription or anything like that, so there's no channel points, which means y'all can't make me a high grade. So you guys will have to remind me. Remind me in the chat. Ugh, can't talk there. Remind me in the chat. <laughs> All right, we're off to a good start. It's off to a good start. Hello and welcome to what is the Independence Day sale for Adam and Eve and Adam and Eve Toys. AdamandEve.com, the number one retailer for adult novelty items, where you can save up to 50% off on almost any single item on the AdamandEve.com catalog. Yes, you heard it right. You heard it right. It's true. Very true. And you know what? I might even teach you guys. I might even teach you guys a thing or two today. I've got a, got a bunch of toys all sitting here on my desk with me, and we're gonna we're gonna talk about some things such as uh, you know I'm not gonna show you yet. I'm just gonna name some of them off. Get you, get, get you guys some uh, get you a little excitement going. Get you a little get your, get your mind out of the gutter and into the the education books and such. Uh, we're gonna be talking about the. Uh, Blowjob Buddy. Yeah, that's the first one I saw, so we just started there, I guess. Uh, it is definitely a thing. Or perhaps the uh, Texas bow tie known as the Stay Hard All Night Adjustable Silicone Tie. That's another thing. Or maybe we will end up with the Boners Wide Ring Set. Six pieces. Set. I don't know. We'll see. We're going to see what happens. Could could It could be something. It could be nothing. It could be everything also apparently i need to uh turn off skype because that's a thing uh let's see bum, 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 bum. good old stream labs hey guys real quick uh my levels look like i'm quite a bit louder than the audio you guys tell me how how is it do i need to turn the uh I'm gonna turn the music down just a little bit more. Let's let's take it down a little bit more. How about that? Cause if I go mic up anymore, it's gonna. Oh, you know what? I I'm I you know I apologize, guys. I just realized something. I had to do this before. Oh nope, doesn't let you do it in Streamlabs. OBS lets you uh, actually adjust above 100%. Streamlabs does not. All right, well. Music felt loud. You're good here. Sweet, Nominee. Thank you. Amy Lynn, good. Because I did just bring it down a little bit, so we should be pretty good. I mean, the way I see it, y'all can barely hear... No, actually, it looks like right now it's doing pretty good. I can't hear the music at all. I'm going to turn my speakers up so I can hear it. That's that's good. Cool. All right. Because I don't have to worry about the donation sound today. Uh, for those that don't know, I do stream on Twitch, and the donation sound that I have is loud and screaming and terrible and, and everything that you would never want it to be. So, uh... <laughs> Oops. But, all right, guys. Let's, uh, first off, let's thank Adam and Eve. Not only for letting us be here, but for uh, providing us that code where you can save up to that 50%. That code is going to be Chase50. Now, I know what you're thinking. Chase, did they give you your own code? And the answer is not only did they give me my own code, but they gave me a code that's going to save you up to almost 50% off of almost any item using the coupon code at checkout over at adamandeve.com. You're going to get free to free shipping, and you're also going to get a mystery gift. And, guys, let me tell you, I, I've, I've used the code. I know what the gift is. I'm not going to tell you what the gift is, but I'm going to tell you that it is shockingly uh, <laughs> surprisingly well done um it is actually a pretty fantastic 
thing. Um, and yes, nominate. The reason why we say almost is because not all items qualify for the full 50%. Some of them are 25%. Some of them are 40, 35. Uh, you got, you, you got to basically put it in the code to see what it's going to get, but it will save you up to 50% off. And there are quite a lot of the 50% off ones. Um, but that code is Chase50. If you need to know how to spell it, it's going to be below me all video long. And if you want me to, uh, you know, if you maybe you're, uh, you maybe you can't see, but you're just listening in, it's going to be Chase50. C H A S E 50. I almost forgot how to spell my own name for a second. <laughs> I'm like C H O R. Are you going to the mall later? Is what I was going to ask. Does it count towards on sale items? Uh, if it it doesn't double dip, but if the sale item is only, let's say the sale item is instead of twenty, it's eighteen ninety nine, but it could qualify for an even better sale with the promo code. It will give you the better deal. So, just go to adamandeve.com. Go try it. Go check it out. See what happens. Maybe you want to stick around for a little bit and see some of the toys that I have to I have to share with you guys, and then maybe you want to try with one of those. But I don't know. We'll have to start and st start going through these and, and see what you guys think. Um. Do I want to start? I did actually get a couple new toys that I have not played with yet. So there was going to be some live, uh, some, some live unboxing happening for a few of these. Uh, one of them I already took out of the box because I needed to charge it. The other one is still fully packaged and everything. Um, actually, two, three of three, four of them actually have never been opened. So this will be fun. This will be good. This will be good. Alrighty. So guys hopefully you have some great plans for this weekend uh for me it's saturday right now uh you know i'm gonna do this stream and then i'm gonna probably eat some food <laughs> but beside the point let's get ready we're gonna, we're gonna yeah uh-huh okay we're all loose we're all we're all ready what do you guys think? Should we start with the box that says boners on it or the one that says a blowjob on it? Blowjob or boners? What are we starting with? Yes, this is an educational stream. What are we starting with? Food is always a win. Food is always a win. That's true. Amy Lynn says she wants to start with the blowjob buddy. So let's start with the blowjob buddy. dropped my fan also let me switch this chat over to the multi-stream so i can see those of you that are maybe coming in from youtube maybe you guys are on facebook i don't know where y'all coming from either way your chat should be uh, being picked up in my stream now and i should be able to see you guys so let without further ado let's get into some of these toys starting with the da 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 blowjob buddy yep you you heard it you heard it here guys it's the blowjob buddy it really is um <laughs> basically it's a stroker that you or your partner can use and it's uh it, it actually vibrates so maybe you know maybe you want a little added pleasure but you just had your tonsils removed <laughs> or maybe you do want to use your mouth but you need a little extra stimulation as well the blowjob buddy's got you covered, so I'm gonna I'm gonna pop it out here. This is said blowjob buddy. How is that your buddy? Oh, trust me, it's a it's a handy dandy is what it is. Maybe that's its name now, dandy. So what you do is you've got a few different options. You can either place the vibrate uh, the vibrating bullet through the middle here, and it'll give you some shaft stimulation, just like so, or you could put it through here, but what I find better to do, ah, I can't hold it, put it in the shaft position, and then you can actually put your finger right through here. And you can put your thumb through here. And now, not only do you have the vibration going on through the shaft, you've got your uh, textured insert. There's actually a, uh, let me see if I can flip this inside out to show you guys. There's actually a pattern on the inside. Um, see, you can see the ribs. That's gonna add some pleasure while you're using it. Let's put it back on. Happy fourth, may the fourth be with you. Thank you so much, Sandra Lee. May the fourth be with you as well. And may the force be with you at all times. 
<laughs> Had my tonsils removed five years ago. Okay, well, it's not for you specifically. It was just a generalization. <laughs> I still have mine, but if I had surgery, I don't think I'll be kidding. Oh, so. Yes, it is. Uh, but it's not a ring for like a partner. It's actually a, uh, no, I'm sorry. It's not. It is not a, uh, it's not a penis ring or a sleeve. It's actually a masturbator is what this would be. So uh, if you look in, you can actually see maybe, uh, yeah, you can see it right there. My finger is actually exposed on the inside. So when you use lube, you do have the stimulation of the, uh, the material here, but you do still have some flesh that you can feel as well. So it's a little bit of a cool little tingle that goes along with that but um see Amy you got me all thrown off now or no nominee you got me all thrown off now but yeah so it's just a cool little guy it's handy it makes a cool sound listen i'm mature <laughs> Um, not, it, it actually, yes, it is to stimulate a BJ, but it's also for, uh, it, it does help a little bit with simulating one, but, uh, cause what you could do is you could actually, if your if your member, if the member is big enough of the partner, you could put this in combination where you're using this while also using your mouth at the tip. So it could be an addition or it could be a, a replacement if you're doing it solo. So it's a buddy for guys going Han Solo. It, yes, exactly. So just easy, easy to use. This guy's actually not that much either. Let me pull him up on the Adam and Eve website real quick. Adamandeve.com. I like how I'm calling it a he. Since it's a buddy, it's a he. <laughs> buddy is apparently a gender specific term. Never thought of it before, but all right, we'll go with it. Uh, let's see here, blowjob. Buddy, my desk is full of toys right now, so I cannot get to it. Um, oh, I have failed. Did I fail? Is it not in stock right now? Oh, no. Yep, I failed. It's not in stock right now. So you couldn't get the blowjob, buddy, if you wanted it. But still, education, guys. Education. It's good to know that those things are out there. <laughs> All right. Well, let's go ahead and put the blowjob, buddy, away behind me I guess rest in peace I know I know we're off to a great start all right well you know let's go with should we go with the angled for ultimate contact prostate massager or the turbo stroker wand attachment do we want to talk about stroker still or maybe some p-spot stuff or um, I've got a lot of uh, I've got a lot of guy toys and, and some uh, what is this one Oh, yeah, this is a couple set. So I'll hold on to the couple set for a little bit. Let's go with let's go with the prostate massager. Dealer's choice. Ooh, all right. Cool. Um, this is the waterproof. Uh, what is, who makes this? California Exotic Novelties. Endorsed by Dr. Good Joel Kaplan. I swear I thought it said good. But um, this is the box. It's a little guy. It looked bigger on the website. I don't know why the image just makes it look like it's gonna be really big. Uh, it's not. It's actually very small. It's this little guy right here, and this is used for P-spot stimulation. Uh, it's angled and and firm so that you're able to once you've inserted it, get it into a position that you need it to. And it's uh, the vibration is fairly strong. Um, it does take two AAA batteries. Let's take a look. What are you, what are you? Yes, it's AAA batteries. So once these are in we just tighten it and it's vibrating <laughs> <Let's see. laughs> i like to give you guys a full full understanding of how these toys work <laughs> it's a uh, it's a very well built toy the waterproof aspect of it's really nice uh, it is transparent so you can if you wanted to you can actually see the vibrating motor in there moving it's right here is where it's actually coming from. So if you're ever curious how vibrating toys work, it's actually a weight that spins around. So you can actually see it spinning in this one. Uh, I would say this toy is great for anyone that's uh, getting into any kind of anal play or uh, for guys that want to uh, introduce themselves to P-Spot Simulation. It's not big. It's actually fairly easy to use. So... Um, 
it's a good starting one. So if you've got a partner that wants to look into that, this would be a great place to start so that they can either solo play or even with you uh, with you and or another partner. I don't know what you're into. No judgment here. And that toy. <laughs> Let's take a look. I think it's this one right here. That toy is currently $29.95 and does get the whole 50% off if you wanted to do that. So not only would it not be $29.95, but it would actually end up being $14.98. And then on top of that $14.98, you're gonna get that mystery gift as well and free shipping. If you go on the website right now, there is an automated code on adamandeve.com that will save you up to 50% off, but it's not gonna get you all the extras. See, it just says right here, 50% off of one item. Take 50% off of one item. Discount is applied to highest price item in the cart. Exclude sale items. See, there's already rules on this. And like I said before, some items cannot be discounted. So if you use the one that's already in there, yeah, you'll save the 50%. But if you use Chase 50, you're going to save, get free shipping, and a mystery gift as well. And it's not like one of those, like... The mystery gift is if you sign up for this, then no, no, it's a gift. You, you're getting something. Actually, last time it was a few somethings, actually. So, yeah. Good to know. Let's move on to the next one. This is one that I like, and I think you guys will like too. Um, I, if you're, if you're experienced in BDSM, if you're curious about BDSM, one of the best ways to start, or one of the best items to have is a good legitimate blindfold this one is by far my favorite one not because it's you know red and black which is my favorite color scheme but it actually has dual straps to better secure on your head and it also has a silk inside so that it's very very comfortable when it's on your face and it's not a sweaty material it's not something that's making you uncomfortable or itchy it's very nice and uh, i've actually done some videos for Adam and Eve having worn this and in those uh, I can say after wearing it for like a good hour like it's comfortable so I'm gonna go ahead and just demonstrate as so as I mentioned it does have two straps so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring it around I'm gonna put it on I'm gonna drop one strap at the bottom and one kind of midway go over the ears still and bring it down and it is in place and it is secure and truth be told sight wise i can see some light at my nose but that's about it like i can't actually see anything and if i open my eyes uh, if i really open them i see a little bit of red but that's also because i'm facing a window right now um but ultimately it's very comfortable it's a very nice one i could be used for sleeping i wouldn't recommend it but uh, it's pretty it's pretty good with blocking out the light so if you're trying to do any kind of sensory deprivation play where maybe you want to reduce sight um, you and a partner want to just kind of do some light B BDSM intro work this is a great place to start with just blindfolding and kind of feeling it from there because sometimes people start with like whips and floggers and, and pinwheels and things like that and it scares them away from trying other BDSM things because they, they went not only did they go into it too quickly but they also might have gone into it uneducated so for, for the lack of education blindfold great place to start and you can get it and save up to 50% this one um, pretty sure last time I checked you do get the whole 50% off of these as well most of your Adam and Eve brand toys are, uh, usually get that 50% off, and this is an Adam and Eve brand toy, which one thing that also stands out is their boxes are always so well done. I really do appreciate them. Um, they're always just quality. Quality is a good word. All right, guys, you still with me? People still here? Have you guys, did I scare you away yet? Chat's looking a little weak. Chat, what do you think so far? What, 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 do you guys have any questions? Let me know. Do you have any questions? What are your questions? Ask me questions. I'm going to put my glasses back on so I can see if you guys even are talking in the first place. Oh, God. Oh, I saw myself. It was terrifying. Oh, we get an applause. Thank you so much. It's not a question, but I'll take the applause. Thank you. I'm here for the applause. 
Let's also take a drink. I'm trying to work through this. Got to work through this bottle of water like the trauma that I suppressed for all these years and hoped would never, never to be a thing. Uh, Jack Gary, I, I'm so sorry. You know what? This this chat wasn't showing up here, but I do see, uh, I do see that James Smith is sharing the coupon code Chase50. Thank you so much. And Jack Gary, one size fits all. Uh, I'm assuming that that was about the stroker. And yes, one size does fit all. Uh, it's same thing with the uh, same thing with the mask. It is also one size fits all. The bigger your head is, the tighter it's going to be. Eventually, it'll loosen up. If you have a smaller head, it is actually already set for pretty nice. Who redeemed hydrate? Uh, we don't have a hydrate uh, channel rewards. I'm sorry, guys. Um, but I've got this chat open now. Let me move it over so that I can see it more prominently. So to my viewers over at Amber Stash, I got you guys now. We're here. I'm, I'm, I'm there with y'all. Perfect. Okay. Cool. Sorry about that. Normally it sh shows up in the multi-stream chat, but not today. Matthew Beards, what's for sale? Got a whole bunch of stuff. Check out adamandeve.com. It's there's a lot. <laughs> I like to remind people to hydrate, so I totally rede redeemed it. Redeemed it mentally. Oh, okay. Mental redeeming. It's got like a like a like a uh, what is that when you when you uh, damn it? What's that called? Telepathically. You telepathically phone fail. Yeah, I, I or or just me fail. I, I I kind of do that a lot. Well, let's uh, move on. Actually, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna take this moment, really quick, as we as we come in here to uh, sneeze myself achoo, into this uh, little offer thing here as I get prepared for the next toy. Give me just one moment. Got to, got to, got to make sure my will is fully finished and notarized. Because this next one, this next one, I call the Texas bow tie, but that's my own name that I gave it. It's not what it's really called. Wash your hands this time. I, for those that don't know, uh, the chat is is teasing me right now on Twitch, saying that I need to wash my hands. It's because I, I recently did a uh, cooking stream, and when I did my cooking stream. I, I had shared that I wasn't going to wash my hands, and that was because I was the only one that was going to be eating. So uh, I, I did say that that was a bad thing to do. So there, I've addressed it. <laughs> Alrighty, guys. So this is the Mac Tough Adjustable Silicone C Word Tie. I don't think I can say that educationally, so we're just going to say C Word. Not that C Word, the, the male C Word. But uh, here it is, guys. Check this out. I call it the Texas Knot. Or the Texas bow tie. Uh, it is an adjustable tie, actually, and I haven't opened it yet, so I have not used this. I cannot speak for it as far as using it. I, I, I don't, I don't, rec I, 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 I don't recommend or, well, not recommend. That's not true. I don't promote experiences that I haven't experienced. So what I will say though, because this is the first time I've opened it. It's comfortable. This material is really nice and stretchy. Uh, the button itself is not too hard, but it's also pretty tight when I'm not holding it. So I can see this working pretty well. I like that there's a little harder plastic at the end to really grip it. So if I wanted to like suffocate a peen, done. <laughs> but yeah, so the point is, is if you're familiar with the penis ring, uh, you are reducing the blood flow so that it better holds an erection. Uh, Basically, kind of think of it like you're trapping the blood in there, which is what an erection is. Is it's when your shaft is filled with blood. So this is going to be a really universal way for. Um, I don't. I mean, if maybe you want to get this so that you can use it on a partner. It's a bolo tie. Yeah, that. Yeah, that's the joke. That's why I'm calling it a Texas tie or a Texas knot. But uh, basically, if you, if you want to have this, maybe you have multiple partners and you want to be able to. Uh, Use this for different ones, not one size fits all. Well, this one does. Up to, I'd say that's a pretty, uh, pretty girthy. I'm gonna put it on my forehead here. I don't think it needs to go bigger than that. And if it does, I don't think you need help with the erection. If that's so much blood, you probably, I mean, you might pass out if you don't get it back to your, back in your system fast enough. 
the uh maybe maybe i could wear it like on something make it a necklace and like this and there you go yeah i'll just perfect if you, want a little... if you know you know if you don't i'll show you right <laughs> But yeah, overall, this is a really cool toy. I like it. Um, I haven't tried it yet, so I can't speak for complete comfortability, but I, I have high hopes for it, and I'll definitely try it. So uh, let me know uh, who, who's, who's up for, uh, for some testing. Stay hard all night, it says. Well, I don't want to stay hard all night. I just want to... I don't know. It's very discreet. I know it is actually pretty discreet. It, it, like unless it was in this box, like you really don't know what it's for. So, like if you open my drawer, found this in there, like, like what is this? I could be like, oh, it's it's uh, an accessory. I'm not lying. Throw that behind me too. By day it's a tie. By night it's a tie for his penis. Neck accessory by day. Other head accessory by night. <laughs> penis tie well guys you can get that penis tie and more for 50% off <laughs> oh my god this offer code is a meme Kathy Daniel thank you for joining us Christy Holmes says stay hard chase thank you Christy <laughs> with that tie I could I really could <laughs> you know what I'm gonna like that one Christy got a like on her comment <laughs> Alrighty, well, I think it's time to give the gals a, a, get a little little info here. This one's pure female, but it is technically a couple's toy. It's one of my favorites. It is the Omibod Eska 2. It is a wireless Bluetooth. No, actually, it's, I don't think I don't know if it is Bluetooth. It might be Bluetooth. But it's a wireless, it's either through Wi-Fi or Bluetooth, I'm trying to remember. Does it say, it says Bluetooth right here on the box. I'm sitting here like, I don't remember now. It is a Bluetooth toy that connects to your phone and can wirelessly through the Wi-Fi be used by a partner or by yourself. So you can either use the phone app or you can use the button that's on it manually and adjust it. So if I'm here and my partner's somewhere else, I could gift them this so that I can play with them when they're not here physically so uh let me even i don't know if it's in the box <laughs> and if it isn't i don't know where it is please be in the box it's not in the box well that's what it would look like guys <laughs> i'm not sure where it is then it must be in my to be clean section i don't know so if the Wi-Fi is out, you're screwed. If the Wi-Fi is out, then you would just use the manual uh, button that's on it. So it does look like this. Um, if you look on the smaller side, you see those lights. There's a button right there. That's actually your power button. And as you push it, once it's on, it'll cycle through all the different modes. So you're, you are able to still use it as a vibrator. Size-wise, I would say it's actually a pretty good looking knot. It does fill the vaginal cavity pretty well. So... Uh, it wouldn't, unless you position yourself right, it's not going to directly hit the G-spot, but it could very well. And it's going to offer some very strong stimulation um, internally. So definitely a great toy. Also, if you wanted to com combine it, use that with a partner or yourself, and then use like a clit stimulating toy, you could use that externally. And I mean, we set. If the Wi-Fi is out, you're technically not screwed. I mean, no, you'd be okay in this situation, guys. It's gonna be okay. You can still use it when the Wi-Fi goes out. It's not gonna be the end of everything. Norman says, thirst trap. Guys, I am, it's not a thirst trap. I'm easy, it's fine. Just, just hit me up. <laughs> um, water break, water break. And not only are we gonna drink water, but we're going to talk about how if you got the Eska 2, you could save 50% off. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you heard it here, guys. Code Chase50. C-H-A-S-E-5-0. This is a sponsored stream. I'm, I'm, I'm making my sponsors happy. <laughs> They're going to be like, Chase, you weren't supposed to make a joke about it. I'm like, but they saw it. 
<laughs> okay, let's keep going. I digress. Hydrate time. Yes, we hydrated. I do have some more. Uh, should we? Go oh, <laughs> I've got one toy that I did unbox. I have not used. It is new. So I'm kind of doing an unboxing, but I, I had to charge it. So I, um, I, I plugged it in. Do you guys want to see that one or should we save on that one? I'm going to just let you guys know. It looks like a car key. It's the only clue I'm going to give you guys. So we can save it and do some other ones or we can do it right now. What do you guys want to do? Car key or wait? Thank you, Tony. I appreciate that. Tony likes my smile. <laughs> mm, go on. All right. Let's talk about a car key. So this is one of the only I, I have one of two toys that actually charges this way and it's pretty interesting it is a rechargeable toy which if you know me i always go for the rechargeable toys because there's nothing worse than your batteries dying in the middle of using something but this is a toy that actually connects through magnets to charge and you just it's like a little macbook of, of sex toys <laughs> Uh, yeah, it's pretty awesome. So you charge it through there and it just other ends in USB and this is a penis ring That is fairly It's not as tight as some of the other ones, which is good because usually like I mean I'll be honest here. I am on the not well endowed side which is what originally sparked my interest in toys and, and becoming educated in this industry, but uh, This is actually a little looser which is nice because a lot of guys will have an issue where it's too snug so this is this is good this is a good amount it's tight enough now and it feels like with some lube this would be comfortable if it were dry it wouldn't really pull which is an issue with some materials this is nice I like this uh, this is the part that I say looks like a key fob that's just me being weird uh, there is a removable sticker on the side that doesn't need to stay there but uh, let's go ahead and turn it on this is gonna be the first time I've, I've done this Oh, it's not a hold, it's a push. Okay. This is pretty good. This is a low, I believe. Oh, there's, there is some, that's nice. So, uh, you know the Green Lantern? Well, I'm gonna be the Gray Lantern, apparently, and this is gonna be my vibration of justice. But uh, it actually is textured on this side too for clitoral stimulation, and oh my God. Dude, that is like tingling my fingers right now and like a good tingling this is this is cool oh god this high that's pretty nice i mean even just the vibration here in my fingers like this definitely is fully like I can feel vibration through any part of my finger that I'm touching, which tells me that if I were wearing this, that my my shaft would be delivering all of these same vibrations. That's pretty nice. But the uh, the, the this this section here, so maybe if you were to like kind of position it forward so that as you're leaning into it, you're still kind of moving here, like, or even just the tick, like just kind of the brush of it, like this is this is solid has an on and off too so if you were to actually just kind of hold against your partner you could use the vibration function to just kind of tease a little bit <laughs> a little building my fingers are going numb holding this thing this is fantastic i cannot wait to use this this is great. I like it. I like it. Guys, if you're enjoying this, if you're on the YouTube channel, make sure to subscribe. Uh, please, uh, I don't even know if live videos can be liked, but if it can, hit the like button. If you guys are on Facebook, which I see Rosalina, Tony, Norman, you guys are over there. Thank you so much for being here and hanging out. Um, this is just... This is a cool toy. I like this one. 
I like this one a lot. This is like pure joy. Like I think I'm blushing a little bit right now. Like I'm just, this one's gonna get set aside here. <laughs> Love to see the Green Lantern corpse appear in the DCEU. <laughs> that would be pretty cool, uh, especially the Grey Lantern though. If the Grey Lantern can do it, that would be even, uh, even better. <laughs> Chase Gusta, I, I I do. This is this is excellent. I I just this is good. This is good. I mean, this is something that even Aquaman would be like. I could use that. Okay, right, let's get let's get off the superheroes. I'm so stuck on this. I'm actually not gonna put this away. I'm gonna let this keep charging. Um, so uh, you know, maybe like one of my Tinder dates later can will be like, oh, is that your car key? I'll be like. Sort of. Let me uh, park my car in your garage and uh, show you what it can do. <laughs> Got a big trunk? Because I'm going to put my bike in it. Chat, what movie is that? Does anybody know what movie that's from? I hope you have a big trunk because I'm going to put my bike in it. <laughs> and on that note, I'm going to drink some water and I'm going to throw up that offer! I wonder if there's like an ASMR way to drink this. Well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, let's, let's see. Hold on. Did that work? Did, did, did that work? Did you guys get some ASMR action there? Does nobody know what movie it's from? I'm checking Facebook. I'm checking the multi-chat. Nothing? Nobody? No one knows what movie puts their bike in a trunk? For real? I knew saving my points for that hydrate would be worth it. That's funny. There are no points on this channel. In brightest day and blackest night, no evil shall escape my sight. Let those who worship evils might beware my power. Grey Lantern's light! They're gonna be like, yeah, that doesn't work. Yes, Amy Lynn got it. It is the 40-year-old virgin. That is what that is from. Oh. Next toy, shall we? My phone would not accept the word virgin. Your phone's like, no, no, you're not. <laughs> get get out of here. <laughs> Emily's like, I am a good girl, damn it. But no, no, I'm not. <laughs> All right, guys, I've got an accessory to a toy to share. I have a toy for a penis. A toy for a booty and I've got a whole ass kit I think I'm gonna save the kit for the end we'll do the kit last so what do you guys want do you guys want an accessory a, a, a pee pee toy or a, or a booty toy let me know yeah I just said pee pee toy <laughs> it's a penis for those that weren't sure <laughs> I'm also gonna raise my chair up a little bit shorter than I needed to be there. Uh, let me adjust my shirt. Yeah, there we go. This is, this is getting good here. All right, I like it. I like it. You guys? Any preference? Butt toy. All right, let's do it. We're going to check out the Anal Fantasy Elite Collection item known as the Ultimate Peace Spot M word. I think we're supposed to avoid this word. Apparently, it's not a very good word to use, and I don't. Maybe it's not like an educational or professional term. So I'm just gonna do this instead. I'll let you guys read it. That one, the ultimate peace spot. That one. Now, in, cur in case you're curious, what that means is it's actually a action of stimulating the pee spot or the prostate and forcing ejaculation is what a is, is what that term means. But um, yeah. So this toy is actually fantastic because as you can see in the box, uh, by the box, it does actually have a motor that's going to move this up and down to stimulate that P-spot, as well as you have a vibration function from here. But I'm going to tell you guys another way to use it because I got, I'm not curious, I got creative one day and found a better use for it. So let's go ahead and open it. And take it out of the bag. 
Also rechargeable, very important. So check this out, okay? Here's our toy. It is built for some booty interaction and it, it for guys and gals both. Uh, let me clarify really quick. Just because it's a P-Spot toy does not mean that it is not enjoyable for a woman. Uh, you do have more nerves in your uh, rectum than you do in most other areas of your body. Uh, it is extremely pleasurable for uh, men and women alike. Uh, the only difference is that men have a prostate. But uh, I will tell you it is very important that you do it properly. Uh, it can be very painful. Uh, what a lot of people don't know is that you actually have two sphincter muscles inside the, the anal canal. And uh, just because one is a little more relaxed doesn't mean that the other is. So if it's ever feeling painful, the, by all means, you don't, don't force anything. Uh, lube is extremely important because the body does not create any form of lubrication in the booty. So those things being said... Let's talk about this. <laughs> I like how the music went quiet for a second. I'm just like, all right, sweet. So this thing's pretty cool. It is one of the holding ones. So let's hold it. Oh, come on. I just had this thing on. Please educate me more on female anatomy because apparently I don't know how I work. Nominee. Oh, there we go. It was a double tap. So right now you can see it is just moving on its own up and down and kind of doing the come here motion. Now, ladies, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking if this toy does this, sorry, too many fingers, it's doing this, what would happen if you put it in there? Well, I'm going to show you what happens. So let's say it's in there. Now a different part's moving, right? Now think anatomy, if this is being held inside the vagina, what is this gonna be tapping? And not only is this gonna be tapping, but let's turn on the vibration. And because it's an anal toy, the vibration is even more intense than a traditional clit stimulator or a uh, vibrator. So, this is the low setting. You picking up what I'm putting down? creativity right there guys that which means that you can literally do this by yourself and be hands-free you're done everything's being it's all being worked right now it's doing it all uh, so what you could do if you had this doing its own thing inside the vagina you could do some anal simulation as well with another toy if you wanted to do like a double penetration kind of thing if you really just want to like lose your mind otherwise it is an anal toy but it can pee so much more. Just be sure that you are cleaning your toys. That is the only thing that I need to really stress. Clean your toys, especially if you're going to go back door to front door. Don't go back door to front door without fully cleaning your toy with an actual toy cleaner. Um, Adam and Eve uh, sells multiple toy cleaners. Uh, the one that I normally use is called the Wicked Sensual Care Clean. Spelt, uh, clean spelt very differently. Come on. Oh, my face is in there. It, 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 it likes to try to focus on my face usually there we go so it's spelled clean it's an antibacterial unscented toy cleaner this is great for sensitive skin this is great for people with any kind of allergies and it is formulated to help to kill all the bacteria and such so it's also safe for all toys so uh, you don't have to worry about if it's a glass toy if it's a silicone toy or if it's a gel toy that is gonna be safe for all of them back door to front door needs to be cleaned don't put trash on the dinner plate that's what we're gonna say we're gonna say dinner plate but if you want to go front door to back door that's okay you don't actually need to clean it in that moment but never front to back back to front don't clean it all right wait no sorry clean it clean it i said that wrong clean it Alrighty. well now we talked about that one and you know what that means since we just talked about this toy that we have to talk about the 50 percent offer yeah yeah i bet you didn't know that was gonna be coming just like the p-spot toy didn't know you were gonna be coming or you didn't know that the 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 hash slinging slasher the, the sash singing smasher the 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 crash 
cringing basher. I I don't I I, I don't know. How, here's some more ASMR for you. Alrighty, let's keep moving on. Uh, I'm gonna try to still put this back in the bag though. I'm trying to close up the little zipper thingy. God. Come on. You appreciate that reference, thank you. I'm glad that you caught that. <laughs> oh. It's interesting, we have 20 viewers over on the Facebook side, but they're not talking. Guys, I am keeping an eye out on the chat, so for those 20 people viewing on Facebook, you're welcome to make any comments, you're welcome to ask any questions, you're welcome to ask about anything that's maybe not a toy that I have with, right, with me right now. If there's something that you'd like to be, uh, maybe there's something that you've been curious about, or maybe a toy that you have that you don't know how to use, or trying to come up with other ways to use it, or talk to a partner about using toys. Maybe if you have a partner that's insecure about using toys, or maybe a partner that's insecure that you have toys, let me know. Twitch, you guys are doing great. Keep, keep doing what you're doing. Not get caught commenting on their public Facebook page. Oh, they just want to learn. Okay. You'd be surprised. There are, uh, there are some people that... Uh, you'd be surprised. I'm not going to call anyone out. But it's also water time. I was trying to put that toy away. I didn't get to actually take any water. Drink any water, not take any water. I didn't get to take any water. Take a sip, drink any water. Grammar, words, come on. What is, ah! <sighs> All right, moving on. We are Zen now. And since we are Zen, everything's Zen. That's a good song. Everything's Zen. I'm sure I wouldn't. I had someone suggest some pretty wild things just at my shop today. Like, dude, you come in with your wife before. Oh, like they were suggesting things to you and they had come in with your wife before? Yeah. I thought you meant like they were suggesting things about stuff at the shop. And I was like, that's interesting considering that, you know, you, you work at a sports shop. <laughs> I think I'd like to know more about anal sensitivity on girls because I legit didn't know about it. Namine, we can talk about that for sure. Actually, I have um, Afro. Oh, that's not going to be a good one to talk about. Let me, you know what? I'm going to throw the, uh, I'll be right back. I'm going to throw that offer code back up. I'm going to grab another toy that I wasn't planning on sharing, but I think that this is a good opportunity too. So give me one moment. I'll be right back. Are y'all singing Afro Circus over there? 
What is wrong with you kids? Some of the people over on Twitch are sitting here going, Afro Circus, Afro Circus, buck it up, buck it up. Yeah, I know what you're doing. <laughs> All right, so this is actually, the, the name sounds terrifying. Um, also a little confusing. What, 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 hold on a second here. Oh, there's a guy. Okay, so this, oh, oh, okay, that's right. Okay. Let me open this first and make sh and even see if that's in here. I totally forgot about that. Okay, so that must not be in here. Maybe it was a code. It might have been a code. So this is what threw me off. Let me let me explain. Uh, I'm gonna reseal this just a bit so you guys can see the box nicely. So we had a question about uh, about women and anal and uh, sensitivity and stimulation and things like that so I'm gonna focus a little bit on that this is like I said it's a scary name but it's called the zero tolerance uh, intro to prostate kit and what threw me off is it said movie lube prostate kit and I was like what's a movie lube prostate kit but what it actually is is it comes with a movie lube and the prostate kit the uh, movie itself I don't have I think that might have been a like a code or it, well, maybe it was a DVD, but uh, I don't have it. I don't know what happened. I've actually had this for a while now. Uh, but what the what it was? Oh, here we go. It's free download of Doctor Ava's guide to prostate pleasure. That's so it is a download. So you can actually download this free video. There was probably a code inside. But um, it's pretty. I mean, it's nice to have a guide like that. That is pretty. That, that is pretty awesome. But the different toys that are in here work differently, and this is catered to men, but it can be used for women, with the exception of one of the toys, which is this one. Uh, but you could use it. I mean, you could use it. It's just not going to work completely functionally. So think of it kind of as like, I mean, it is an intro kit. So think of it as like beginning and working your way up. So it comes in this little package here. You got a couple of them. And uh, so your easiest one to use is going to be this guy right here. It is kind of, it kind of looks like the hill from the Nightmare Before Christmas, if you were to uncurl it, I guess, or make, maybe make it out of a snowman. But uh, so the beads are very easy to, to use. You just lube this thing up. It is a little guy, that is true. Uh, you could either use it with your hand, being able to hold the sides here, or you could set it down on a surface and uh, you could ease yourself into it by sitting on it. Uh, again, very easy to use and it'll stay in pretty well uh, once it is in. You want to face it up towards you and this will kind of work in the same sense if you guys have ever seen any of the anal toys that have like a jewel on them, this would be like that jewel side just kind of sticking out. Uh, your next step is going to be this guy here. Uh, once again, you want it to be facing up towards you. A uh, little bit bigger knots, but there's less of them. Same thing, you could use it either through your hand or you could sit on it. And this is going to slide easier. Uh, it's not going to be as uh, as naughty, but uh, it is going to stimulate a little bit more. It's going to expand a bit more, and you are going to need to be a little bit more relaxed to be able to use this toy. So this is what you would work your way up to. This would be the next size. Once you've done that, you do have this guy right in here now this one's a little bit bigger it's very uh, solid uh, the actual material of it it's a little harder because it doesn't need to move around as much when it's a p-spot toy and it does vibrate so you guys can hear that it's also kind of cute it's got a heart on it I don't know if you get let's see if you can a little heart on it yeah get a heart on <laughs> get it but uh, it is curved, it does hit the spot, and that little vibration here, you just bend this over and you can twist that off to replace the battery. So, very easy to use. And then the one that's hard, that wouldn't be as useful for, for, a, for a female, unless you're using it on, having a partner use it, would be this one. This one is a very thick knot. This is definitely the last of the list. It's a big boy. Um, this is, Pretty much once you are comfortable with anal play, then you would use this. It is meant to be a penis ring. Uh, you would use this as a P-spot stimulator for while you are having sex. Uh, this is not, this doesn't really offer 
pleasure itself, it adds pleasure to what you're already doing. Um, a fun fact as well, if you guys did not know this, is that the P-spot for a, for a male is actually, uh, your prostate enlargens and swells once you've ejaculated. So you're actually more likely to be able to get P-spot stimulation after you've already ejaculated the first time. Um, and I don't mean like ejaculate and then like later on tonight you do something. I mean like after, like immediately after. So like if, if you were to be with a partner and you were to use a toy to stimulate uh, yourself and you were to ejaculate before maybe some foreplay with your partner and then lead into a toy like this, then yeah, you'd be... That would be the ideal way to do any kind of peace spot stimulation. I also put that in backwards, so now the box won't shut. Give me one moment. That's better. Now it's happy with me. Sorry, sir. Sorry, sir. Now that's in my head. <laughs> Guys, come on. Well, let's see. Is there anything else to share with y'all? I've been told lots of lube for sure. Yes, again, I will reiterate. Uh, as I shared before, you, your body does not create lubrication in that area. So the booty does not have its own lubrication. Girls can get wet. Your body naturally creates lubrication down there. It does not in the back door. So lube is very important. Um, I do recommend if you're with a partner, to use an oil-based lube in the back door so that it retains the, uh, the, the that slipperiness. It doesn't kind of fade away, um, especially if you're going to be doing it in like the shower or something like that, which a lot of people, when you are first experiencing any kind of anal play, you'll try to do it in the shower, which is totally fine. Um, oil-based lube is great for that, but if you're using toys, please do not use oil-based lube. It will damage your toys. So water-based lube for that. Uh, just know that if you are in the water or in the shower, that water-based lube can need to be reapplied uh, after some use because the water kind of, I don't want to say disintegrates it, but basically like makes it not as functional. So yeah, now y'all are educated. Guys, I got a couple minutes here before I wrap it up. Is there anything else that you guys would like to know? Anything else that you guys would uh, like answered? Um, I did not get a chance to go in depth about these toys, but I will share them with you. One of them was the one that said boners on it. It's the boners wide penis ring set. I'm using that C word though. Uh, this is actually a multi-size penis ring. So if you wanted to stack your way up uh, you are able to do that you can actually um, increase some stimulation by using these uh, on your shaft to create some um, ridges <laughs> but you can also use this as a trainer as well uh, for trying to tighten and uh, try to stimulate that thicker erection um, they are very stretchy uh, comfortable to use uh, I have not personally used it yet so I can't fully give my response to it but I am eager to I think it'll be very interesting I like that they're actually pretty thick uh, if you take a look there they are fairly thick so I think that that'll actually work pretty well do it yourself ridges basically <laughs> um, what about silicone lube silicone lube is another one that is uh, considered I think to be one of the more oily based ones uh, so there are certain toys that silicone lube, I believe, would damage. Let's take a look, actually. Let me verify that. I don't want to give out wrong information. Let's see here. So, okay, so they're only good for uh, ceramic, steel, gr uh, hard plastic, aluminum, wood, marble, etc. So anything that's going to have like the Fanta flesh and, and fake skin like that, that's that w that would not go well with the silicone lubricant. Yeah, okay, that is correct. So there you go. So like Astroglide is a silicone gel. That would not be ideal for using wood toys. 
great for just using like with a partner. That's totally fine. Yeah, I just see. I saw another another site saying the same thing, and I'm checking from the actual uh, companies that make those lubes. Let's see here, Chris Clark. What is a good brand to use, and will you show us one to use for the back door? Well, Chris, yes, there is actually. Uh, I have two with me. One that is my preferred, and uh, actually, I will admit it is Adam and Eve brand. Uh, you can get that full 50% off on the website, which makes this bigger bottle very affordable. But it is called the Adam and Eve Masturbator Lube. I know that myself and other reviewers that have worked with Adam and Eve have all, uh, at least that I've spoken to, have all agreed that this is hands down the best water-based lube formula that I have used. Uh, one pump is more than enough for anything that I've ever needed to use it for. And uh, it works very well on all the different toys, all the different materials. It's very safe. It is not scented, so it doesn't have that smelly lube smell. And uh, what was the other thing? There was something I was just talking about. Something I was just talking about with this one. Oh, it's really easy to clean up. Um, it doesn't have like a dry, flaky feeling to it. It's very, very nice. So this is good. I like this one a lot. Um, I do. I. It's solid. I really, I really do recommend it. Uh, Another one that I do have, if you would like another brand, is the Wicked Aqua Lube. I use this as well. Uh, I like the, the Wicked brand. Um, this is also fragrance free. I try to stick away from fragrances just because uh, some people's skin does not react well. And, uh, you know, it's very important to be a thoughtful partner. So whether you have the same partner each time or you have multiple partners, it's very important to always be safe and to uh, be considerate. So I try to do that. Um, this one is, oh, and that's the other thing. I'm so sorry, both of them, the Masturbator Lube from Adam and Eve and this one, both are, they're not sticky. And that is, that, that I think is amazing. Like when you have it on your hand, you can actually like not have to like, like some lubes I've had to like wash my hands almost to like get it like off just to be comfortable. This is not that same case. I could actually apply it and then maybe just rub it off on myself or my partner's body and it would be fine. Um, this is, I mean, it, this is pretty, pretty good. Oh yeah, guys. So not only do I have, just, just to show you how important this is and to show you how much I like it, not only is the, the uh, clean, the Wicked Cleaner great, but I have a second bottle. <laughs> I have a backup bottle. Just thought you guys should know that. Well, that's about gonna do it. Uh, wow, is there uh Got him off his original game plan. No, not many, that's totally fine. Um, the only other toys I think I was gonna share uh, is the Dual Ring Clit Tickler, which is a, uh, I'm covering a little image there. There's a little sample of it. Um, <laughs> This is a penis ring that you would wear. It goes around the testes as well as the shaft and it creates this little bump up here. Sorry, I'm trying to guess where things are at. A little bump up there to stimulate the clit. Uh, that's something that you would use with a partner. And then the last thing that we were gonna go over was the ultra powerful vibration couples kit from Bang. But this is the one that's completely unboxed. I think what I'm gonna have to do is I think I'm gonna have to make a YouTube video about that one. So, uh, if you guys are sh following the Sex Toys uh, How For Him YouTube channel, then you get, maybe you'll see a video there, maybe not. Maybe it'll be another Twitch stream that'll share it. I don't know, you never know. But if you guys are on the YouTube channel, please be sure to subscribe. If you're over on Twitch, be sure to check it out. Uh, and more importantly than anything, make sure to save money and get free stuff. Free money, free stuff, free shipping, do it. Don't be a dummy. Chase 50, C-H-A-S-E 50. It's gonna get you up to almost 50% off of almost any item on the adamandeve.com. To clarify why I say that, not every get, not every item is gonna get up a full 50%. Some might be 45, some might be 40. It really depends on the item. But go to the website. Go add some stuff to your cart. Add one thing to your cart. Add that code. Try it. If you've never bought from Adam and Eve, try it. Try the toys. Try the customer service. They are so fantastic. 
Adam and Eve is the only option in my eyes when I buy these toys. Mom and pop shops that I've been to just don't have the same resources, don't have the same deals, and don't have the same just wide selection. So um, nothing against mom and pop. I'm just saying in my own eyes, when it comes to your sex life and your sexual health, safety is a priority and quality is a priority. So that coupon code and hydration, that's how to end it. You know what? Cheers. I will. We'll finish this bottle right now. <sighs> Joke's on you. That was pure vodka. But there it is. We did it. We drank the whole bottle. Start to finish this stream. We talked about mom and pop should not own a sex shop. No, Amy Lynn, that's not what that means. <laughs> I'm not talking about your mom and pop. But, I mean, you're here, so clearly mom and pop had something figured out. <laughs> well, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you for being here. Thank you for everything. Hopefully, I'll catch you guys on another live stream over here at Adam and Eve uh, live streams on Twitch or on YouTube or on Facebook. Y'all keep doing what you're doing. Happy Fourth of July to those celebrating. And uh, be safe this weekend. You do you. I'm Audi 5000. Let's get out of here. All right, that's it. Goodbye.